Father Benedict Groeschel has some wonderful meditations on hope in his book, After This Life. In fact, the whole book is about hope. It presents a realistic portrayal of life in the present and expectation of life hereafter. And he says his first thought of giving the book the title, After This Life was actually another title, After This Our Exile. And he cites the reference of Blessed Herman of Rickenau a thousand years ago in his beautiful prayer to Our Lady, the Salve Regina. After this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Father Benedict says, why, Blessed Herman, used the word exile for this life? The monk who wrote those words was blind and disabled. His disabilities, says Father Grishel, led him to see more clearly than most that his life was an exile from his real home with his heavenly Father, with Christ, the Virgin Mary, and the saints. And the only thing that kept him going was the certitude that the life he was living was not the only thing that God had in store for him, that his exile was temporary and he would one day go home. This is a valid perspective on hope. This life is in a real sense an exile. Heaven is our real home. Father Groeschel says that at times he feels the same way. The effects, he says, of my accident of several years ago still linger, making many tasks that once were simple very difficult. Adding to that was a small stroke he suffered, making him aware of new and annoying limitations. He prays the Salve Regina often, and it helps him recall that his present life, his exile from God, is temporary, a mere prelude to a life more wonderful and more vibrant than any of us can imagine. He says, this life on earth can have moments of exquisite beauty, of great satisfaction, but it can also be a valley of tears, a vital awareness of the promise of the life to come, the life that the Son of God won for us by his holy life, terrible death, and glorious resurrection fills us with hope and strength in facing this life and its inevitable challenges in looking forward with courage and in hope to what comes next. Thank you, Father Groeschel, for those marvelous insights. Let us pray. Lord, watch over your people who come to you in confidence. Strengthen the hearts of those who hope in you. Give courage to those who falter because of their failures. Lead them along in this holy season of Advent closer to you in hope by the power of your Holy Spirit. May they one day proclaim your saving acts of kindness in your eternal kingdom. Amen.